we're going to be setting a height restriction using an X-Watch height and slew restrictor fitted to this machine. There are two ways of doing this. If you know the restriction height, you can set it manually by pressing set, using the arrow keys, adjust the increments to whichever height setting is required. Press the OK button and the settings will be stored. With the machine running in a safe environment, away from any restrictions that may be present, raise the boom nice and slowly to double check the restriction has been set. Another way of setting the height restriction is to press set, raise the boom up again in a safe environment away from any possible height restrictions. Once the boom has reached the required distance, press here and that will set the height restriction automatically. Again, in a safe environment, lower the boom back down to the floor. Raise the boom up nice and slowly to double check that the height restriction set is the correct one, given any hazards that may be within your working area. To set a slew limit using the X-Watch height and slew limiter, Press the slew button, turn the system on, and there's two options. We can choose a wall or angle. Press the angle button, press set, slew to a potential proximity hazard. Press the set option while slew to the left. When you slew to the right hand side, again, close to a potential proximity hazard, Press the set button and that will give you your safe working envelope. Always double check that any restrictions set match those of any potential proximity hazards within the working area. If at any time the undercarriage or the machine has to be repositioned, always reset any slew restrictions to match those in your current working area. When setting a virtual wall using an X-Watch height and slew restrictor, Turn the device on, choose wall, press set. Depending on the side of the restriction, on this particular instance we have a restriction on the right hand side which is simulating a very guard or a footpath. Using the arrow keys, put the measurements in manually. This is now set at four meters from the center of the slew ring, press OK. When we move the machine, always double check that the measurements do not encroach on the particular restriction you have in place on the site. Whatever we do with the boom, the machine will physically not allow us to encroach on the restriction set. If we have to move the undercarriage, keeping the undercarriage in line with the potential slew restriction, continue with the working area, double checking again that the slew restriction cannot be compromised. <laughs>